Yo, what's up? I'm not going to be boring. This is a very, very special something that you need to know. Something that I just learned and something that I want to pass on to you right now. Hold on, let me put my phone on silent because I don't want to, you know, be all having my phone going off and all that kind of stuff. But a lot of, now, do you know what you want? What do you want out of music? What do you want out of life? What do you want? Do you even know? If you don't know, let me tell you this. As harsh as it may sound, you're going to fail. If you don't know what you want, you're going to fail. Because a person that's just, you know, a lot of the times we're not getting, and this is a problem, because a lot of the times we are not getting what we want. We're getting only what we think we need to survive. And, I mean, that that's not fair to you. That's not fair to me. That's not fair to anybody. You need to be getting exactly what you want. But do you know what you want? You know, I mean, if you ask some people, what do they want? You know, we all want vague things. I want a big house. I want a million dollars. I want, you know, uh, I want beautiful women. I want, you know, I want this. I want that. I want this. But do you really, really know what you want? So I'm not just going to sit and just fill your head full of, you know, a bunch of useless information. I mean, none of this information is useless. So um, for those, you know, for if, if you want to learn exactly what to do and exactly how to know exactly what you want to do, this is perfect for you because you're going to learn. So I'm going to keep it quick as possible, but grab a pen and a paper because this is a process. I'm giving you a process that something that you can do, take steps and take action right now. So let's get straight into it. Now, what do you want? You know, again, a lot of us are not getting what we want. We're only getting, you know, the things that we, you know, need to survive and you know and that's a problem because we're not focusing on what we want and you know some of these people they they they're doing the same things and they're expecting different results and that's well that's that's what I just said you know you know a lot of these people around you maybe it's your brothers maybe it's your sisters maybe it's your cousins maybe it's your friends maybe it's just an associate that you know you know you, you see him and you're like man you you still doing that you still doing the same thing that you was doing in the 90s, you know, and then, and then what do they say? Oh, man, I'm grinding. I'm just hustling. I'm grinding. Man, look. Grinding, if you're not making no money, is, I mean, just straight up, it's pointless. It's useless. I mean, you know, I know that there are struggle periods and there's times that you have to go through what you have to go through. And I understand the grind in order to get to where you're going. That's not the kind of grind I'm talking about. I'm talking about the people that sit and do the same thing and want to be rich. There's a lot of people that's sitting in the room right now, not doing nothing, but they think they're going to be rich. Those are the people that I'm talking to. So, you know, you know those people. And again, it's because they don't know where they're going and they don't know what they want. Anytime you know where you're going, anytime you know what you want, you get exactly what you go after. Anytime and every time. Now, let's say you wanted a burger from McDonald's. Now, if you wanted a burger from McDonald's and you drive past KFC, you drive past Popeye's, you drive past Burger King, none of that bothers you because you want a Big Mac from McDonald's. So when when you want something, your mind automatically gives you a route how to get there. So, you know, notice I'm not saying how. I'm saying what do you want. I'm not saying how or how are you going to do what you're going to do because, I mean, no, we always focus on the how and we never know what. We never know the what. We never know the why. And that's, those are the most important things. Because like I just said with the McDonald's example, if you want a burger from McDonald's, you're going to go get a burger from McDonald's. No matter what happens, you're going to go get it. And that's the same thing you know, with, with your music career. It's the same thing. So most of the time you are not getting what you want. You are getting what you think you need to survive. And that's true. I just said that. And this is a problem because you know, we are not getting what we want because we are not focused on what we want. A lot of people don't know what they want out of music, out of life, out of relationships. And this applies to every every area of your life. But I'm talking about solely music. What do you want out of music right now? So what I'm going, wait, where am I going and how will I know when I get there? That's a big question. Where am I going? Wow, I was tripping. I, I don't know what I was reading just now. But uh, where am I going and how will I know when I get there? That's a serious, that's two questions. Where are you going? 
That's first. You have to know where you're going and how will you know when you get there? Because it's a, it's a possibility that you might get there and you pass it right up because you don't know that that's what you want. So, I mean, these are serious, serious principles. And this is something that you have to know in order to get further in life, in music, in your career, in whatever area of your life. This applies to every area of our life because what's holding us back is the things that we don't want. Now, you know what you don't want. You know exactly what you don't want. And usually the things that you don't want is what's holding you back. Like um, relationships, for instance, you know, of uh, uh, somebody could want to, you know, somebody could say, well, I don't want to be with someone that has me feeling tied down. And so instead of going after someone that doesn't make them feel tied down, they say, well, nah, you don't even pursue it. You just, I'm forget it. I'm not going to get in a relationship because, you know, the fear of running into somebody that's going to have me feeling tied down. Now, basically, that's what, that's what happens because... You know, when we don't know what we want or we know what we don't want, the fear of what we don't want holds us back every time. So, you know, hopefully that makes sense because I know I can just ramble on. But So here's a process. I want you to draw. Hopefully right now you have that pen and that paper. Draw a vertical line and then a horizontal line. So it should look like a T, like a lowercase T. So I'm going to give you a second to do that. And if you don't have pen and paper, go and get a pen and paper, man. You know, this is going to help you out. This is going to be big for you. So go and get a pen and paper again. Draw a vertical line and then a horizontal line, and it should look like a T. Now, on the left side, at the top corner, I want you to write what I like about the music industry. And, you know, I'm going to share some of the things that I wrote down, you know, as well, so you can kind of get an idea. Um, some of the things that I like about the music industry, I like selling beats. I like making beats. Um, I like making money with my music. I like the, I like expressing my feelings through my music. I like making hits with artists. Um, I like collaboration. Those are the things that I like. So what, what do you like about the music industry? On the left side, list everything that you like about the music industry. And matter of fact, pause this video right now. Go ahead and do that and come back. Okay, hopefully you pause the video and you know, hopefully you know everything that you like about the music industry. So now on the right side, I want you to write everything that you hate about the music industry. Write everything that you hate about the music industry. Now, some of the things that I said is that I hate working with faulty people. I hate, I hate working with labels, and I say that because, you know, labels BS you around. They bullshit you around. Excuse me, if you're under 18, my bad. I might let a cuss word slip out every now and then, but I'm just being myself. So, um, you know, I hate lying artists. I hate working with untalented people. I hate shopping my music. That's just a process that I hate. I hate it going and, you know, sending somebody my music for them to tell me what they think my music sounds like. I, I, I hate that. So, again, pause this video and write down on the right side, again, on the right top side, everything that you hate about the music industry. Pause this video and do that right now. Okay. Now... Hopefully you know everything that you hate about the music industry. Now on the left bottom corner, I want you to write out your perfect music situation. What is your perfect music situation? And I'm going to share some of mine. Um, working with a team of like-minded individuals. Imagine if, I mean, me, that, that's always been a big one for me. Working with people that all have the same vision, all have the same goal, and we all trying to make a hit. Whether that's three songwriters, me and another producer, uh, you know, a couple of, I mean, you know, really, that's all you need is the songwriters and a couple of producers, and, I mean, that, that's hits. So, you know, that, that was one of mine, you know, uh, I wanted to, you know, have my own go-to artists. You know, now I have lots of go-to artists for different specific things. You know, so write down your perfect music situation, and then pause the video, and I'll see you back in a minute. Now, hopefully you paused the video and you wrote down your perfect music situation. Now, the next section is one of the most important. This is one of the most important because in order for you to even believe what you're writing, you have to first see it, you have to first vision it. So, you know, this is where you, on the bottom right corner, you write a statement about your perfect music situation. Now, your perfect music situation, mine was, you know, per again, I wanted to sell music products, beats, 
and being able to create music when I want to. I don't like the pressure of a label telling me, create this music now or else, or, you know, create this music now. So on my um, right bottom corner, my statement, you know, was I sell music products, beats, and I'm able to create music when I want to with no pressure. And that's literally how, how I live my life. That's literally how I live my life. So basically, you know, um, another one was, is, you know, again, I said I wanted to work with a, t a team of like-minded individuals. So on my statement side, I wrote, I work with a team of like-minded individuals. And basically what you're doing is you're speaking and you're, you're visualizing yourself doing what you want to do. And, you know, basically throughout this process, you find out what you don't want. You find out what you want. You find out what your perfect music situation is. And then you say a statement and you start believing what you're saying. And then the law of attraction, I mean, that I'm not even going to go into the law of attraction. I mean, you know, the law of attraction is beautiful. Basically, what you think is what comes back to you. I mean, that it's, it's just real. It's no magic. It's no secret formula or, or, or nothing like that. But, you know, do some studying on the law of attraction. I'll cover that in another section but so basically you have to believe what 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 you're writing down you have to believe it now this will give you clarity you will understand exactly what you want exactly what you don't want and that will help you move forward in your music career so this is game and you can do this with all areas of your life you know it don't just have to be your music career you can do this with you know your your finances you know you can do this with your relationships, you can do this with your, your your life, you know, I mean, this works in every, all areas of your life. Now, what you don't like, you don't even have to think about that no more. Because now you know what you don't like, and you know not to even go in that area, you know, don't let the fears of what you don't like hold you back. I mean, just don't do that, because that'll hold you back every time. And it's also... Last but not least, the psychology secret. There's something powerful in writing things down. It gets programmed into your subconscious mind, and you start attracting these things in your life because you believe it, and you become committed to what you write down. Now, that's a psychology secret. I've been studying a lot of psychology and, you know, doing reading a lot of books on the subconscious mind, and, you know, basically I'm not going to cover the subconscious mind, but, you know, the conscious mind is basically what you see, what you feel, what, what you think. You know, that's the conscious mind. Your subconscious mind is where all your real results come from. So, like me, I spend time feeding my subconscious mind nothing but positive stuff. I mean, so, you know, I can reap and get nothing but positive energy back to me. You know, if I fill my subconscious mind with a bunch of bull, then, you know, I'm just going to think negative all the time. And that is one of the things that holds you back. So, again, hopefully you learned something from this lesson. Go after what you want. Don't let what you don't want limit you. You know, I apologize for this going long, but when I first learned this, I mean, you know, it, it was, a, you know, I mean, when it came to me and I understood it, it hit me and it changed my life. So that's what this is about. If it didn't change your life, then my bad. I mean, well, your bad, you know, because when you come back to it and you go over it the right way, it will change your life. So peace out. Again, this is Kev Beats, you know, just giving you something that I learned and hopefully you learn from it. If you don't have that banger, go get that banger right now. If you um, are not a part of the Kev Beats community, go sign up right now. And, you know, I'll give you three free beats right now.